Hello everybody and welcome back to the Lazy General's playthrough of Stellaris, taking a look at the Utopia mod. In our last episode, we had just made some enemies, no friends, just enemies, we're working on that. And we had started down a quest line where we needed to track down some sublight probes that had been sent out centuries ago by our people in a misguided attempt to understand the universe better. So we're going to get moving along. We've got to check out this place here. We are just shy of having enough uh, Corvettes to go and clear out this little obstacle right here. The ISS or Grassus' survey of the asteroid is temporarily halted as a probe is caught by an errant gravitational anomaly. The probe manages to transmit some data before it is brutally crushed by the extreme forces, forces that completely dissipate soon after. Interesting. Well, we get an ass ton of physics research, so that's good. And our scientist, Officer Garma, has leveled up and gained the trait Archaeologist. Excellent. All good stuff. Uh, so, meanwhile on Slug, our people are still slugging about. We need to eventually break down and make another science outpost, some more food production, all kinds of good stuff. We're working on it. And our population is growing here on easier to pronounce. So... It's just kind of waiting for stuff to happen at this point and trying to maximize our efficiency so that we're growing in the ways that we need to grow at the times we need to grow. I was thinking we would build a frontier outpost up here, but I think that once we uh, colonize uh, Odlaman here, we should be pretty much okay. Like, we should grow out to here. What have we got here? We've got a savanna world that can easily become tropical. And we've got another savanna world. So these two planets could both very easily become tropical. We just need to get them within our sphere of influence in order to terraform them. So we're up to 294 fleet power here. Um, I want to get... We might as well go for the full 15 Corvettes before we try to clear that out. I believe that would be the most prudent. Because overwhelming power means less losses. And less losses is just more efficient. So we're going to be uh, building that up a bit more. We're going to be adding an Admiral. What have we got here? An Alpine World. So not even close, as they say. I think a Savannah World can become a Tropical World. Well, at any rate, we're still learning terraforming, so it'll be a minute. Plus, it costs a ton of energy credits to do. So, eh. Take our time. Salvagers detected. We have found our missing probe. A small fleet of jury-rigged ships has been detected on the Vana system, and one of them has the probe locked in a short-range tractor beam. They are hailing us. What you want, alien. This probe ours. Salvage. We find first. You leave now. Yes. Interrupting delicate operation. Your ships are. Must concentrate. Or if you want probe, we can sell. 100 credits and probe yours. Good deal. Very good. You get probe. Less work for us. Everybody wins. Especially us. Um... I think we're gonna go ahead and just give him the energy credits. Very good, very good. We release probe into your care. Maybe a bit banged up. There was accidental collision during salvage operation. Midwife fell on controls, clumsy oaf. But probe still in good condition. No refunds. We depart now. Okay, so that is complete. The salvagers kept their word and transferred the probe over to our care. Control. As soon as the transfer was complete, the fleet departed the system on an unknown heading. Although the probe is in rough condition, we managed to download detailed sensor readings of the entire Vana system from its memory banks. Excellent. So we get full survey data on the Vana system. Nice and fast that way. So I guess we'll go look at this black hole system. Meanwhile, we still don't have enough minerals to make another Corvette, so that's going to be a minute. After we get our fleet built up, we should be able to relax a little bit on the expenditure and try to consolidate on our holdings here and try to build things up a bit more so we have more production in general. Situation log updated. All right, so. Uh, the ISS Oragas ha approaches uh, the Gargantua black hole. They find that they are not alone. At the edge of the event horizon, it soars. 
reflecting light from the stars being drawn into the dark, gaping hole, a gigantic construction in the shape of a perfect sphere. We cannot pick up any signals from it, nor does anything we send make it respond. It simply sits at the edge of the abyss, waiting. Interesting. Situation okay. updated. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Baradam system. These strange objects have been flagged as Theta aliens until we can learn more about them. Okay. This is fine. We have, new found, we have now found beings far surpassing anything encountered in our empire's spacefaring history. Life capable of growing to an unprecedented scale, rivaling moons in size and mass. Nothing could have prepared us for this. The day will forever mark a turning point in the story of the Big Boss Brain's brain slug Bonanza. Let us hope we survive long enough to tell it. And where did we find that? Oh, it's the Infinity Machine. Oh my. Anomaly. So this is a Leviathan event. Okay. Signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization. Research away. That's very shiny. Okay. Well, we're not going to screw with that. Not for a long, long time. Alright, so we're taking care of that anomaly. You're done here. Um, We need more wormholes, apparently. Uh, we can survey this system, and we can survey this system, so we'll look at those two. Meanwhile, back on Slug, we're finally able to build another Corvette, Yut Cruiser. The remains of a Yut Cruiser have been found in orbit around Talassus 4A. It seems to have fallen victim to weapons fire, but given the extreme age of the Hulk, it is difficult to be certain. There is no indication that the ship was ever equipped with an FTL drive. It must have traveled between stars at sublight speed. Situation Intriguing. Located. So what have we got to do with that? Let's look at our situation log. We've got a whole bunch of things. Um, so we can do listening arrays. We need a skill 4 or higher and a skill 5 or higher scientist. So we only have skill 3 scientists. So we will have to wait until they level up a bit more. We need to build one more Corvette to be all set on that. Evading hostile fleet. What have we got here? Theta it's aliens again. Oh, that's space amoebas, it looks like. That's unfortunate. I hate space amoebas. Evading hostile fleet. And now what? Actual alien vessels. Huh? Let's take a look. Oh, it's uh, mining drones. System survey. Those are annoying. They crop up everywhere. They're like space cockroaches, basically. So we're running out of surveillable systems, which is uh, which is problematic to say the least, because we need our scientists to keep leveling up. We're gonna have to break down and build some wormhole stations soon and expand our reach. So we're building our last corvette, our fleet is ready, and we're going to go ahead and take that out. This is just a lot more aliens than we're prepared to deal with. Uh, so let's assign an admiral, shall we? We have a trickster, a... okay, modified probe. A sensor sweep from the ISS Wagalish has revealed one of our sublight probes in the Polymar system. But it seems to have been altered somehow. Modifications of an alien origin have been attached to its hull, and the probe's energy signature is far greater than it should be. We are receiving a transmission from it. Scruff, argue, the makers. Uh, either way, they go hostile. Yes, we made you. Then you shall die. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, so we've got a, oh, fleet logistician. That seems worth it. Okay, so we've got this probe, and that's gonna... Let's clear that probe out first. I suppose. Comes off all start and shit. We made you. So the fleet will arrive in Polymar in ten days. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, boom. And we're here. So now we're probably going through... Nope, no sublight cooldown. 
All right, let's go whoop his ass. Oh god. Firing freaking lightning at me. Little remains of the strange alien modifications that our missing sublight probe had been subjected to, but we did manage to collect some valuable engineering data from the wreckage. Its memory bank was also salvaged, and from it we have extracted survey data of the entire Polymire system. Excellent. So the combat is resolved, we didn't lose any ships, we're gonna send these guys back home for repairs. And it looks like we've got another tradition available, so I think we're gonna grab... Uh... System survey complete. We're gonna go ahead and grab courier network, I think. And then we'll, we're almost done with expansion. Then we have to figure out what we want to move on to from that. Very interesting. All right, so surveying is just about done. We can go to posh. What do we have here? They're a little too strong for us. This science ship... Uh, let's try it. I know we saw bad guys there. Meanwhile... Oh, what have we now? Alien vessels, 349. What are they? Huh. Maybe some sort of civilization out there. Hard to say. But that's a pretty weak alien space station. They might be like a just freshly raised to spacefaring empire which is interesting all right meanwhile we picked up a signal it originates from the titanic metallic sphere we encountered earlier previously impervious to contact attempts it now sends out a rhythmic pulse of radio waves pointed toward the black hole it orbits what it's doing is beyond any of our staff but this signal might have created an opening into the sphere for our scientists to exploit Oh, screw it. Fascinating. This may be the end of our of our entire civilization, but we'll find out. Okay, so we're beating up this anomaly, hopefully. Doesn't look like we're getting very far. He has some sort of a shield protecting him. Alright, so we've whittled through his shields. And it looks like we're holding strong. It's not doing much damage back to us. We've got a couple of Corvettes looking a little sad. We have dealt with the hostile subspace entity that our mining probe had attracted. Why such a creature would be drawn to an archaic, unmanned spacecraft is a mystery, but the probe appears uh, to be largely undamaged. It has been recovered by our forces, and we have extracted detailed survey readings on the entire Rigel system from its memory banks. In addition, the residual energy left behind by the subspace anomaly has generated a large amount of valuable physics data. Excellent. Uh, we finished the research. I don't remember what when we were working on. <laughs> Crap. But I think we're going to go ahead and do nuclear missiles. We desperately, desperately need to improve our, our fleets. We've also researched fusion power. Go us. I think that a power plant to research would be beneficial to us. So we didn't end up losing a ship out of all of that, which is nice. Very, very nice indeed. Now, however, there is absolutely nothing left to research, so I guess we'll pull our science ships back. And we're going to send our construction ship out. Research complete. Or do we? Terraforming is now complete. Uh, yeah, Galactic Ambition. Get that 20% border range improvement. I'll take it. So... I guess our best bet is going to be able to, to take our, sci our construction ship, rather, and start building out some mining stations and stuff. We need to just improve our everything right now. We're not getting in enough minerals. We are not getting in, in enough anything right now. Power is okay, because power just needs to be in a balance, or at least slightly to the, to the good, in order to do its job. So our fleet has been repaired. I guess we can clear this sprawling slums blocker. These guys are going straight to food, which is fine. Because we want food to be decent. And we need one more pop to develop. This is at 6 out of 32. 
So that's going to be a minute. They're rapid breeders. So they should fill out pretty quickly. Plus we've got bonuses. To, you know, <laughs> breeding. Giggity. So what do we need? Scientist of skill three or higher. What is our scientist skill? Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull a hard save. Uh, this is going to be episode three. Uh, and we're going to call this sphere. We're going to risk poking the bear. But we're going to save the game before we do it. Just in case. And let's see what happens if we poke the bear. Maybe we'll get something awesome. More than likely, we will get annihilated. Because that is a Leviathan-class entity. Which is scary. <laughs> like, a Leviathan-class entity can fight a... Um, uh, one of those fallen empires almost to a standstill on its own, which is terrifying. Let's see, do we have anything else? Derelict cruiser, we need a scientist of skill 4 or higher for that. Which means it ain't happening right now. And we may wish to hurry up and save up for a colony ship so we can go get up in here and get all these planets as well. Plenty, plenty to do, plenty to do. Oh, and I'm paused. What? Why am I paused? Is it because I saved? Oh, goofy me. Womp womp. I was wondering why nothing was happening. Construction complete. All right, good, good. Construction trip has finished construction shipping. And I suppose we will go out to Voom and build a wormhole station out here. Uh, actually, no, well, you know, no. Cancel that. Cancel that. Why would I want to build one there? I wouldn't. That's the answer. Uh, I guess we'll build one in Polymar. So we're still waiting for five pops on easier to pronounce. We've got this cleared off, so we should be able to... I mean, I guess we could just plop somebody down there, give us that extra point, and then we could build a mining network. Why the heck not, right? What's our food output here? Still plus two. So if we were to build a hydroponics farm there, we might end up being pretty much covered. We could technically probably beat these aliens vessels, but I'm a little scared to attempt that right now. And I'm really freaking out about this. I'm kind of holding my breath, waiting to see what happens once we finish trying to research the infinity machine. I have a feeling it's going to annihilate us. It's gonna be some bad juju, as they say. So, things are still going good here. Maybe we can get ourselves a governor on easier to pronounce. Let's see what we've got. We've got resilient, intellectual, and environmental engineer. So I guess we'll go with resilient. Because I'm not planning easier to pronounce to be a research planet. Construction complete. We have too much need of raw resources right now. So we've completed our our uh, wormhole station in Polymar, which means we can send our science ship out here to try and get some exploration done. We're hitting that stage where every planet you try to explore has some sort of awful alien nasty in Construction it. Construction complete. Which is it is no good. I guess we can send you back to orbit. 
Slug has finished this, so we're now three more minerals coming out of Slug. And I guess we'll wait for a bit, because I really want to get this extra colony ship going. So we're just going to hold on until we hit 345 minerals. I wonder how progress is going. Let's look at the situation log. Oh, God. 36, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's gonna happen? I'm so clenching right now. The metallic orb has been opened up. Our hacking team has been able to use the outgoing signal as a gateway into one of the auxiliary CPUs of the sphere. We are receiving some data from it and can tell that it's been scanning the black hole Gargantua for a very long time. It is old, very old. The constant calculator now lies within our grasp of understanding. If we push harder, we might find out what it is doing here and who built it. What marvels might it contain? Contact the main processor unit. Which we'll have to do in the next episode, you guys. So a little cliffhanger ending there for you. Uh, but we're at that 20 minute mark, so it's time to close up the episode. Oh god, this is stressful, but right at the beginning of the next episode, we are going to be hopping straight into that, so it's something to look forward to. And I will just say thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've had as much fun watching this video as I've had making it. If you like what you've seen, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to you know, just give me suggestions, things you'd like to see more of, less of, things I'm doing stupid, things I'm doing smart. Whatever you feel like telling me down in the comments. I read every single comment I get. Which shouldn't be terribly surprising, because I don't get very many yet. But... Beside the point, don't forget to follow me over at twitch.tv slash lazygeneral for more shenanigans. Love to see you out there, and thank you once again. I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>